welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty, and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little spring teddy bears with their little collars and little tennis shoes. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. And if you want to see future videos by me, be sure and like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified when I have a new one. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, for this video, you're going to need a couple of the cylinders. You're going to need a pool noodle, some little balls. You're going to need some strings, some dowel rods, some batting, um, eyes and a nose for the face. You're going to need some craft foam, some socks, some fabric, some shoes, and some gauze. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen my um, dowel rod. I'm going to put it into my round ball, and that will protect my fingers while I'm cutting it with my wire. We are only going to cut off about maybe half an inch at the most you just want to make sure it matches up on your noodle perfectly then we're going to do the same thing with the other ball the smaller ball and we're going to cut it completely in half and there's a most of the time there's a line on them just be careful with that tool don't lay it down on your um, pad or it will melt it just kind of pull your ball through it then what we're going to do is we're going to take our our ball and we're going to stick our pin i mean our dowel rod into it and then we're going to stick it down into the cylinder. Now, if you have a pool noodle that has a little bitty opening on the top, you can skip this part. You don't have to use a cylinder. We're just using it so that we can put it and hold it into there because this does have a pretty good size hole. Just push that all the way down through there. Mark the end of it. Then we're going to pull it back out and we're going to cut it an inch above. Now, be sure and cut it an inch above because when we put the sock on, we're going to have fabric that needs to go down into that opening. Okay, then go ahead and add some um, glue inside the, the ball and stick that dowel rod in there. Then we're going to go ahead and put glue all the way around our ball and we are going to put it a little bit on down the cylinder as well and we're going to stick that down into our pool noodle. Just line it up. Okay, next we're going to take our nose and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the sharp end of our stick, run it through there, and we are going to cut this stick at about an inch and a half. And we're going to put the um, put the point down into the middle, find out exactly where you want it. You do want it to come down a little bit below the ball. Find out where your middle is. Go ahead and poke that dowel rod in there. And then we're going to pull it out. And we're going to put the stick back in there. And then we're going to attach the nose. Just don't push it all the way through. You don't want to go right. You don't want to go through the styrofoam nose. Then add a little bit of glue there just to hold it in. And then push it on in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and fatten him up a little bit. I'm just going to take some quilt batting and cut some strips. You can add as much as you want to. I'm just cutting a little bit, and I'm going to gradually go down from his neck out to his stomach. So just start adding however much you want to um, pat him up with so that he's as, he's as fat as you want him to be. But kind of do it gradual. Don't just puff him up in the front or it'll look real funny. And then we're going to take some gauze and we're going to smooth it completely out by wrapping it. And that way you don't have any lumps. It's going to be completely smooth. So starting at the back with your gauze and just wrap it tightly so that it's kind of smooth once we get our sock put on there. And I'm just wrapping it around a few times and then I'm just going to um, tuck in the back where you can't see it. Okay, next we're going to take our sock and we're going to come over the top and you want to make sure that the toe is in the back because you don't want the toe across the front of the face. So just pull it on down there and just make sure that that toe area is in the back. Okay, then go ahead and pull it on down and then we're going to wrap a string around the neck and make sure you go up underneath the nose because you want to make sure that you tie this in good so that there is a definition between the head and the body. And then just tie that off and trim that off. Okay, then we're going to come back in and we're going to put his eyes just above the ridge where the nose is. You can feel it on there. And then just kind of space them out however you want to. I put mine probably about maybe an inch and a quarter apart. And then on the nose, just come down probably about maybe a half inch from the top edge of it and attach his nose. 
And this is personal preference. You can kind of do whatever you want to on this one. You can put his eyes together or farther apart, however you want. Then go ahead and pull this on down and trim this off. Now, if you want to know exactly how much I'm trimming off right there, grab the pattern for the nose and that's the, your, I mean, for your ears and that's going to make an ear. Go ahead and glue all that down, tuck that in and make sure that that is smooth on the bottom. Everything is tucked in so he will set up right. Okay, then we're going to take our pattern for our ear and the piece that we cut off right there. That's going to be one of the ears. And then we're going to cut the other set of the ears off at the toe. And make sure you do it at the toe because we need the rest of the body, uh, the rest of the sock for the body. Now you are going to have the toe area on his ear, but it's going to be turned inside out and you're not going to see it once you get it put together. Okay, we're going to take our dowel rod again. We're going to sharpen it. And then we are going to go ahead and glue opposite sides together of our ears you want to make sure that you got the same furriness on your body as you do your bear but on the one with the toe you'll see you want to make sure that the smooth parts are together on this one okay then go ahead and tuck it back so we can trim out the edge just pull it back probably about a quarter of an inch all the way around that way we'll have a nice smooth finish on our ear when it connects up to our bear's head. And then do the same thing for the second one. Okay, then we're gonna turn them right side out. And then I'm just gonna use like a little bone folder, like a little curved bone folder, just to kind of shape the ear out because you wanna make sure that they're nice and curved like the shape of an ear. Okay, then I'm gonna take some quilt batting. That's about a three inch by two inch piece. I'm just gonna stick it inside to kind of fluff the ears up a little bit. You can add as much or as little as you want to. And then I'm gonna take my dowel sticks and I'm going to cut them about two inches in length each. And then go ahead and take the blunt end and it put it inside inside the ear and put it in the quilt batting itself and glue it in and then we're just going to go ahead and glue that all the way shut so just kind of put your glue around there and then kind of squeeze it shut Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the bear. And if you kind of do a diagonal outwards from the center of the ear, I mean the ear, go to the, it'll be into the center of the eye. So kind of line the eye up with the center of the ear. You can go ahead and push those on down in there and then we're gonna go ahead and take them back out and glue them in. Okay, next we're gonna cut his arms and his legs and you're going to need a 60 degree angle to do this. So I have a mat I got that at Dollar Tree and it already has a 60 degree mark on it. So we're gonna cut both arms at two inches each and this is out of the styrofoam cylinder. And that's a um, almost an inch styrofoam cylinder. And then we're going to come up on the line that has the 60 degree mark and we're going to pull our um, styrofoam cylinder over to the um, quarter inch mark. So we want a quarter inch before we do our 60 degree angle. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to give him a shoulder instead of just a straight arm sticking out. So just cut it a quarter of an inch from the edge, the bottom edge, at the 60 degree mark. And then turn your, your styrofoam the opposite way and glue them together. And that's gonna be, that's gonna give you like a shoulder for him. And then do the exact same thing for the other one. Just go ahead and glue it 
opposite way. Now for the legs, we're gonna take those and cut them at three inches each. And then we are going to cut the edge at the 60 degree mark as well. But we are gonna cut straight from the edge. Don't go three quarters of an inch in. We're just gonna cut straight off at the edge. So you're gonna line the edge up at that 60 degree mark. And you're just gonna cut it straight across there. And if you don't have a, um, a way of cutting at the angle, just cut it at an angle. Just make sure that they are exactly the same on both of them though. We're just trying to angle it a little bit so that it'll go into the side of his leg a little bit instead of just straight out the very front. Okay, now we're gonna take our sock and we're gonna lay our pieces out on it. We're gonna cut that in half so we have enough in the second sock to do both of them. And then we're gonna cut our socks in half. So we'll have a piece for both arms and both legs. And then do the same thing for the arm part. Just make sure you have straight pieces and then cut them in half. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our fabric on the long side and we are gonna glue those over. That way we can turn them right side out. We have a nice edge on our seam instead of having to overlap it. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the legs too. Go ahead and take the long side and glue it over on both of them. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna beef up his legs a little bit. I'm gonna take a two inch piece of um, quilt batting by seven inches, fold it in half the long way, and we're just gonna wrap around the top two thirds of his leg. The, leave the bottom open because it's gonna have to fit down into his shoes. Then go ahead and wrap it with gauze just to make it flush against the leg so you don't have a bunch of um, puffiness that looks kind of odd. And do the same thing for the second one. Just wrap it around down about two thirds of the way through and then go ahead and put your gauze on there just to hold it firm. Okay, now we're gonna take our pieces and we are going to turn our top edge over of our arm. And this is gonna be by the hand. This is gonna be the part that goes by the hand. So just go ahead and go all the way around there about a quarter of an inch up. That way when we put his hand on there, I mean, when we, when we glue it down, it's he's got a nice finish on his hands. And we're just gonna do that on the hands only. Okay, while those dry, we're gonna go ahead and turn the legs right side out. Now you need to take your time on this part because you need to make sure that your seam is gonna be in the back. So your seam for the arms are gonna be towards the body and the seams for the legs are gonna be in the back of his legs. So just go ahead and pull your bear in, see exactly how it's gonna fit in there. Make sure you got your right on your right and your left on your left and then pull that seam towards the back. and do the same thing with the second one. Just make sure your seam is gonna be on the, on the bottom part of his leg. Okay, then do the same thing with the arms. And the seam for the arm is gonna to be to the inside of his body. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take our dowel rods. We're gonna go ahead and um, sharpen them and then we are going to cut them at three inches. So just cut that one in half if you got a six inch one. Then take your styrofoam on the side that has the curved edge, the, the angle, and go ahead and push that about down, probably about two inches into it. And then we're gonna glue it in, put the blunt side in and that's the part that's gonna attach it to the noodle. So go ahead and do the same thing. Use the pointy side to make your hole and then glue the blunt side in. And then go ahead and seal up around the 
part that goes into the bare because you want to make sure that your seams are completely sealed in there. And then we're going to trim off the bottom flush with the styrofoam and that's the part that's going to go into the shoe. And just go ahead and glue that on around. And do the same thing for the other one. Just make sure it's flush so you don't see it once you get it put into the bare. And then we're going to cut the bottom off as well and cut it flush with the cylinder. Okay, then for the arms, we're going to take the side that has the finished edge and that's the side that's not going to be on the side that's um, the angled edge. We're going to cut our sticks at about an inch and a half a piece and we are going to attach it into the, into the elbow area, the curved area, glue in the blunt side and then that's what's going to attach our arm to our bear. And do the same thing for this one as well. And then on the opposite side, go ahead and pull that fabric on down around there so you still have enough to meet in the center and glue that shut. And that's the side that we finished out. And do the same thing for this one. And then on the opposite end, you're gonna to have to trim a little bit and then we're gonna tuck it down inside the arm so we have it finished on this end as well. And then we're just gonna glue it around that dowel rod into the styrofoam. Just get it tucked underneath there real good and then glue it down. I'm gonna do your other one exactly like that. Okay, now we're gonna attach our shoes to our, to our legs. Just make sure that your rights are on your right and your lefts are on your left and you know which leg goes to which side of the body. Just make sure your angle is right. And then go ahead and put your, your leg inside your shoe, tie them up. make sure that your seam is on the bottom, on the back. And then we're just going to go ahead and push them into our bear. We're just going to come up probably about, um, I think by the time I pushed them into there, there was probably about a half an inch between his legs. And then go ahead and attach his arms. And we're putting his arms about a half an inch down because we're gonna come back down and put like a little ruffle collar in there and you need some room for that to set. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and pull all those out. We're just gonna glue them in. Just take your time on this step. I know I kind of fast went fast through it. I kind of um, cut out a little bit, but just hold it till it's really dry good against the body because you want to make sure that you don't have any gaps. I mean, when I did mine, I mean, you can't see in the, in the video because I cut it out, but I probably held it for a good 30 seconds per arm and leg just to make sure that it was glued in good before I let go of it. Okay, next we're going to make the ruffle and this is a one and a half inch by 18 and a half inch piece of fabric and you're just going to fold up one side of it a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to um, hem up both ends a quarter of an inch as well. Now you can sew this, you know, with a, um, just gather it with a needle and thread, but I'm going to show you a way to do it without it. Just take your string, go all the way across it on the, and on, on the unfinished side, fold that over. And then we're going to meet in the, we're going to overlap in the middle with the opposite side. Just don't use so much glue that it seeps through and, and gets onto your string because you won't be able to gather if you do. Just, you know, lightly glue it all the way down. And then we're going to just take our string on both sides and start gathering it together. And then go ahead and just pull your bear in here and then you can just tie it off on, to the bear and then, and then straighten it out how you want to. Go ahead and tie it around his neck. 
and then you can kind of straighten out the gatherers how you want to around the front of them. And then we're going to go ahead and put his um, mouth on and that's about a eighth of an inch strip. It's just a skinny little strip and I'm cutting two of them at one and an eighth inches in length. Hold them together side by side, glue them at the top on the edge only and then hold them there until it dries. After it's dry, then you can go ahead and start curving his, um, his mouth up. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back and then just curving it back up on both sides. All right, there you have it, a cute little spring bear. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. But make sure you make some friends for him because he'll want some. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.